Island Live at River City Casino for Shamrock Fighting Championships. Oh! Sets him down. Oh, he rocked him again! That's enough right there. That is it. And here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event of the evening as Josh Augustine takes on Josh Bam Bam Henry. Tale of two Joshes. Coming out of the blue corner, it is Josh Henry. Coming to the cage by way of Creston, Iowa, it is Josh Bam Bam Henry. Now, Josh is a veteran of over 16 fights, sports a 10 and six record in the world of mixed martial arts. Now he last fought in kickboxing and has had some great results with that. He's won titles in other promotions. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Purple Belt and Taekwondo Black Belt though said, tonight I know I'm coming into Josh Augustine's house, but he's never seen anything like me in his career. And you know, after Josh's last fight against Josh Weston, where he landed some big shots, you know, very long twos, I would imagine we see Josh Henry come in here, try to close that space and get it to the ground as fast as possible. Um, you know, he could land a big shot over the top. You know, he's obviously the shorter of the two fighters, so I'd be very shocked to not see him close that space and try to take it to the ground. He has had a long career that goes back all the way to 2009. He started in the world of wrestling at the age of four years old. Now, he told me at one point in time he lost the passion after his father's passing, who was his coach. He says, now I am all back for it, and that's where I find my motivation to fight. You know, 14 years of experience and a rededication that can make for a very dangerous fighter. And his opponent, Josh Augustine. Riding a two fight win streak into the world of Shamrock FC here. It is Josh Augustine, he sports a six and two record. Now, all of his wins have came by TKO. He has been a very tough fighter then. His last fight, again, was in September against Josh Weston when he took him out in a very tough contest. But we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape. Josh Augustine, 29 years old, six foot one, 157.6. Josh Henry, 33 years old, five foot four, 155.8 pounds. That nine inches, I count that right? Nine inch differential between the two. That's good. There is a nine inch height advantage. How does that play into this, Adam? Oh, it plays. It plays immensely into this situation, Jeremy. I mean, again, distance is everything. Being able to control the distance. You know, it is an important part, you know, whether you're on the ground or on the feet. And Josh being the, the longer fighter, you know, that gives him the opportunity to hit and not get hit. So Josh Henry is going to have to deal with that reach, try to close the distance and either fight on the inside or take it to the ground. So we'll see how he's able to adjust and, and deal with the long reach of Josh Augustine. Again, Josh Augustine moved his camp out to Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. He's ready to take it to the next level, and by moving his camp, he thinks he's going to be able to do that. Let's see what he learned, and see if he's able to display some new skills here tonight. Let's go to Jeremy into the center of the cage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Fighting out of the blue corner, he comes to us by way of Creston, Iowa. He stands five foot four inches tall. He weighed in at 155.8 pounds, sporting a 10 and six record in the world of mixed martial arts. It is Josh Bam Bam Henry.
his opponent, fighting across the cage out of St. Charles, Missouri. He stands six foot one inches tall. He weighed in at 157.6 pounds, sporting a six and two record in the world of mixed martial arts. Give it up for Josh Augustine. Your referee for our main event is Mike England. Mike England, your judge or your ref for this bout. Quick touch of gloves, Josh Augustine takes center of the cage. Quick, quick. Augustine is quick so jabs. much taller, using that reach. Pumping that jab, one, two. Big spinning back kick there though, out of Henry. Very explosive out of Henry, he's an explosive fighter. Big Ooh. right hand by Augustine. Augustine knows how to stay long and he knows how to throw that two right down the middle as we saw in his Josh Weston fight. Augustine looks like nice he's face. almost in a different weight class. He's a big fighter. He's a big, big fighter. Um, he's long. Henry here trying to close the distance, you looking know, to grab that leg, gonna try to slide the pipe down. Big elbows. Big elbows there. Coming out of oh, Augustine. Oh gosh, those are landing. Those did not feel good. Not you know, at all. You know, Henry's holding on to that leg though. Henry are trying to keep that pressure. I would like to see him kind of head fight, get a little bit of head position there. Good job by Josh Augustine to circle off the cage. Josh Henry put him right back onto the cage. Yeah, Augustine now trying to use that lockup. He's got the overhook on one side, trying to get away using those knees. Yeah, I mean, Augustine has, looks like he has wrist control. He has the overhook. He's gonna kind of, he's gonna go for a takedown of his own. Oh. Henry drops to the guillotine. This looks tight. This is under oh, the chin. Oh, can he close it? He has a, he, look, he, he's only in half guard. It's gonna That's be, a tough one to try to finish. It's going to be tough to get the leverage that you need to finish this. And, and Josh Augustine is a, is a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. He has good jiu-jitsu. Josh needs to push on the elbow to kind of squeeze his head out. The other thing he's got to watch here is Josh Henry has the potential of blowing his arms out to try to hold this this long. Yeah, if Henry holds this for too long, he will blow and out his arms. Out. Henry needs to start digging for an underhook with his right arm, wrestling up, and getting to his feet. As you can see, Augustine, Augustine gonna is- gonna look for mount here. Yep, Augustine's pummeling that leg over, trying to block the thigh. He's gonna try to pass the guard here. Beautiful wrestling there Big out of Big knee here to the body by Augustine. Good control, kind of using that half Nelson as a control here. Now he's starting to drop some bombs. Big, Big knees, knees there, to the knee head. To the head. Oh gosh, those are big shots. Big shots, you know, Henry needs to move. He can't just sit there and eat those shots. Augustine is absolutely manhandling him. Yeah, Augustine's like using that half Nelson. He's hugging the hips to really control the body. And uh, he's very effective with that. Now, drops to a Henry. double leg. He's gonna scoop him off the cage here. Big takedown Good there job by, by Henry Augustine. to use the cage to his advantage, trying to keep his back up. Henry trying Little to land elbows some elbows there. there. Now, in this position though, Henry has got to get up. He's gonna get scooped out here by Augustine. And if Augustine locks up those legs, it makes for a hard time to try to move. Right, well Henry's doing a good job. As you see, he's sitting on his butt, his back is flat against the, the cage here. Oh. oh, illegal knee, that was an illegal knee. Cannot knee a, ground, a downed opponent in the head. Henry was down there, you have to be careful. Now Henry in that position, he's doing a good job. He's keeping his back flat to the cage. He's trying to use the opposite hand, the post, and get up to his feet. Augustine doing a great job. Now to, will to we see a point taken hips. away? Yes, we will. Got to be careful. You know, we have to. You, you have to keep your situational awareness to know where you are. Well, they always tell you in the rules meeting you have to control your weapons. Absolutely. I mean, it's good to back be aggressive. Back into the action. Josh Augustine in the red tape. Josh Henry in the blue. Augustine seems unfazed by that point. Good feints here by Josh Augustine. One, Big two, right, right down the middle. Hand. Now Henry looking to get underneath. Henry short shot to the body, misses with that hook up top. Both fighters seem to slow down a little bit. Both Switch of these guys the have a lot Augustine. of fights in them though. A lot of experience in the cage right now. Lots of experience between these two. Leg kick there by Henry. Henry trying to control the center here. Henry's doing a good job keeping that right hand up so he doesn't get kicked in the head. 
Oh, Ooh. big one connected. Right hand over the top. Augustine circling, nice one-two right down the middle. Found a home for that. Oh! Ooh, knee of the body. Slipped there by Henry. Henry grabbed the leg right back to his feet. Down to under one minute remaining here in the first round of our three round main event. Augustine kind of circling, trying to stay to the outside, push kicking, trying to keep that distance so he can stay in his range, not allowing Henry to close that distance. Big Inside leg, leg kick, kick there by Henry. Nice jab there by Augustine, followed up by a leg kick by Henry though. Henry overhand trying to get on the inside. Pressuring. Jab there by Augustine. Augustine using that jab to his advantage. Big right hand there though, coming you know, out of Josh Henry. I think Augustine came out very fast. Uh, Henry kind of weathered the storm. He proved that he's not gonna go away that easily and he's starting to gain some momentum, uh, some momentum in this later round or in the later time of this first round. Under 10 seconds, a little, a little Taekwondo action there. there. Now, Josh Augustine started off very heavy. Let's see how his cardio is able to keep up as the fight progresses. So if you're in the corner here of Bam Bam, what advice are you going to give him? If I'm in Bam Bam's corner, I'm telling him, hey, man, you were able to start getting something going at the end there. Let's build off that momentum. I'm telling him, if I'm in his corner, I'm like, look, he's tired. Whether he is or not, I'm telling him he's tired. He's tired. Fight smart. Start pressuring him. Start working your offense. Take him to the ground. Let's take a look here at our instant replay again. Big. Nice one-two by Augustine. Yeah, Augustine found a home for those. But as we see here, Bam Bam does a good job to get inside with him and then attack every chance he gets. Little he's always there. attacking. Yeah, he's, he's very aggressive. He's explosive. Um, I, I, it's probably a 9-9 round considering Augustine lost that point. Yes. That plays into a factor. Absolutely, absolutely. Quick touch of gloves. Oh, Ooh, big nice overhand two right. over the top by uh, Bam Bam. Now, the thing that I do like what Josh Augustine is doing is the feints. He's using the feints. Good feints, good feints. He's circling. He's not just backing up, getting one, two. Now, I will say Augustine seems to be breathing a little bit harder than Bam Bam. His mouth is kind of open. Nice head kick there, though. Body oh! shot. Oh, dig to the body by Bam Bam, and oh that was it. Oh, my goodness. Again, I think that was just a, a nasty dig to the liver. Yes. We saw it in an earlier fight, Jeremy. We saw a liver kick. It can happen just like that. You yes. a big shot to the liver, and it is involuntary. You are going down. What a shot out of Josh. Bam, bam, Henry. Wow, he big shut shot. down Josh Just Augustine. Just a big left hook to the body, and that was all it took. Wow. Great comeback by Josh Henry. Uh, man, that was a hell of a but fight. But it, it was basic textbook. Went high, came in low, yeah. and hit it straight into it. And he jumped into that. He put everything, boom, just right into the body. And Let's take a look at this one if we can on instant replay. Here we go. And All you right. see Henry just moving forward. Boom, short dig right there to the oh. body. And that was it. You know, I mean, he Josh could not out. defend himself at that point. Josh Augustine, that is, could not defend himself. Henry on top. Yeah, let's take a look at this one more time. Yeah, so what we're seeing here, it's a left. Boom. It's a check left hook into the body. Yeah. And then the ground and pound. Referee Mike Anglin saves Josh Augustine from it. What a fight. Let's send this one up to the cage and make it official. Beautiful body shot by Josh Bam Bam Henry. All it takes is one shot to the liver and, and your body will shut down. 
Let's take it to Jeremy for the official announcement. Referee Mike England has called a stop to the fight at 38 seconds of round two with TKO due to strikes. Your winner out of the blue corner, Josh Bam Bam Henry. Beautiful fight by Josh Bam Bam Henry. He weathered the storm early from Josh Augustine, was able to, uh, to, to build his offense, land a big body shot, hit the liver, shut Josh Augustine down and walk away with the TKO victory. Beautiful, beautiful fight by Josh Bam Bam Henry. What an amazing night of fights to kick off 2023, Adam.